Clifton Pear Remediation Project is an excellent example how there was a national problem and it got solved with the collaboration with various government ministries. It was a nice collaboration between the Ministry of Public Works and the Ministry of the Environment. Start Cove, best place diving in the world. Over 27 wreck sites that you could go to in a matter of a couple of days. During the time when uh, we were having a lot of the oil spill on this southern side of the island, there were some great days and then there were some days you, you would go there, started off great, but if the wind changed for whatever reason, you'd end up with disappointed customers. We gave a lot of refunds because of swimsuits being damaged, oil being over their skin, it stuck like glue. So when you visited the site, there was always a smell of oil and visually oil coming out of the rock face. We obviously knew it was leaking from one of the sources along that area of Clifton. We're out on the western flanks of New Providence Island in an area called Clifton Pier. As you can see behind me here, we have the cliff face along the ocean and we're looking at the coastal caves that are generated by the uh, wave action. The caves themselves are the basic storage of groundwater, infiltrating ocean water, along with the contaminant. The two ministries worked together because they knew there was a, had to be a solution undertaken. This is the area at Clifton. This is an industrial area. Lots of different facilities. There's a cement factory just up here. Clifton. Heritage site is just further west, so you can see the wall we've constructed at this part here, and then this area here is as it was originally. So you can see the original boom of installed, which is stopping the oil. Now this is a, a major hotspot, and it really highlights the problem of the escaping oil. Now there was a, a similar hotspot here and then a similar hotspot there. This is the combi wall, and then we filled behind the wall. We've extended it to the west and extended it to the east. So these are the bulkheads we constructed, and it really shows you what we're dealing with and how it was stopping the oil. So every government agency was well aware of what we were doing. It got full support, because uh, as soon as construction started, they saw that it was trapping the oil. One of the core aspects of the remediation design and the solution here, the, the barrier solution, was really having three lines of defense. The first line is the recovery trench, the second line is the liner, and then the third line of defense is the barrier wall itself. When we submerge this into the ground, that sump goes deep into the ground, and then this is where we put the vault on top, and you can see where we then connect to the, the horizontal pipes. Then when we come up to the surface, we put a, a vault on top. So when you open up this vault, you just look down right into this four foot diameter sump where we can install uh, pumps if needed. The design of the seawall is a H-beam seawall. We drive H-piles into the ground, 30 feet into the ground, and they're eight feet apart. And in between the H-piles, we put steel sheet pile wall. The reason we use a big H-pile is for the resilience and the strength. The H-pile is a lot stronger than a standard sheet pile wall. It, the member is about 30 inches thick and this location is exposed to, the, to heavy waves during hurricane events. We filled the seams between the steel H pile with bentonite to make it watertight and then we coated the exterior with coal tar epoxy to give it corrosion resistance. The top of it is a two foot thick concrete cap and on top of that is a 10 inch concrete slab double reinforced. Again, that is to give us the strength we need for this type of open environment in a hurricane event and high, high storm conditions. We are anticipate that the waves will overtop it, but our design should ensure that it would have no impact on the concrete or the sheet pile wall. We achieved two, two goals with one solution. The wall being completed, um, no more oil coming out of that entire region. So this whole industrial region is now no longer leaking oil into the ocean as it was a many decades issue out here. I hope more Bahamians join in the fight and other people around the world join in the fight to keep in a greener, safer world, you know?
it was a, a nice collaboration between the Ministry of Public Works and the Ministry of the Environment. Through that collaboration, along with the several external consultants that were brought on board, namely Geosyntec, uh, national issue was mitigated and ultimately solved. For that reason, I consider this project a major success.